Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the Notes Embedded Same Time Client in the Notes Basic Client configuration and how to use that to authenticate against the Lotus Live Instant Messaging Service. First, we're going to navigate to Help About Notes. And as we can see here, we're using the Notes 852 release client in the basic configuration. Now, for configuring the instant messaging client, we want to first navigate to the location document, which is located at the bottom right of your notes client. Right now, I'm hovering over the section that says home. If I click this, I'm given the option to edit current. Now I'm looking at the location document, and I want to switch to the servers tab first. At the very bottom, you notice that I already have the IBM Lotus Same Time Server field populated. This indeed is the same value that you want to have populated to access the Lotus Live Instant Messaging Service. It's im.lotuslive.com. There's one more tab you want to visit while you're in the location document, and that is the Instant Messaging tab. As you can see as well, I have this already populated. The port is 1533. The connect is set to manually. However, as I just clicked, I could also set this at notes logon. I'm going to leave it as manually right now for the sake of testing. The protocol, if I select this, I have four different options. Direct connection using IBM Lotus same time protocol, direct connection using HTTP protocol, use my Internet Explorer HTTP settings, or use proxy. I'm going to leave this as direct connection using IBM Lotus same time protocol. So I'm going to select the cancel button. Again, at the top, I have this set to port 1533. This could also be set to port 80 to access the Lotus Live instant messaging service. It really just depends what your company's security guidelines are and what your preference is to use here. Since I already have this saved and I haven't made any changes, I'm going to go ahead and select the cancel button. So now we have everything pretty much configured in terms of what server we're pointing to and what type of protocol to use. So now we actually want to authenticate against the Lotus Live instant messaging service. Therefore, the first thing you want to do is go to create instant messaging, log on instant messaging. And this is how you're going to manually authenticate against the Lotus Live Instant Messaging Service. Again, as you can see here, I've auto-populated one of the fields. This is current, the username field is currently set to a test user's internet email address. A lot of times your notes client may already have this populated with your notes canonical name format. However, you, you absolutely want to verify and validate that this is set to your internet email address. And this internet email address is going to be the same one that you use to authenticate with against the Lotus Live web front. I'm going to type my password here for my test user. And at the very bottom right, right to immediately to the left of the location document, you'll see that it says I'm active. And if I hover over it like I am now, it says instant messaging. If I click this option, I'm given the ability to set the status message to different statuses. I can also select to show or hide the instant contact list, which I'm going to select now. We see here that there is a group indicated as work. And there are no contacts listed in my contact list. However, if I wanted to search for and add users, I could click on this little yellow icon which says add to instant contact list. Now here I could search by name and add them to my private group called work or create other new groups and add contacts in in that manner. I'm going to choose not to do this, do this at this time. I'm going to select close and I'm going to close the contact list. Now please note that I am still listed as active here at the bottom in terms of my instant messaging status. Although I've closed the contact list, I have not disconnected from the instant messaging service. If you would like to do so, click here again 
and the bottom option is log off instant messaging. And once I do so, the status will be changed to disconnected and you'll no longer be connected to the Lotus Live instant messaging service. That covers the basics of using the Notes Embedded Same Time Client in conjunction with the Notes Basic Client Configuration. Thank you very much and have a great day.